Hi there and welcome. In this video, I've teamed up with Nady to bring you a Nadybot installation guide. We're going to be covering installation on Windows 10, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and Ubuntu. Sit tight and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is get Windows Subsystem for Linux set up. So, follow along. On the bottom left of the screen, click on your Windows key. Go to the gear icon, which is settings. Click on that. When the window pops up, scroll down a bit. See apps. Click on apps. And then next, you want to click on optional features. When you get to optional features, click on, or sorry, scroll all the way to the bottom then click on more Windows features. Once you get this window popped up, Windows features, scroll to the bottom, and then you'll find Windows Subsystem for Linux. Check that and click on OK. Once you click on OK, I uh, should prompt you to restart. Go ahead and restart, and I'll meet you back at the next step to install Ubuntu. Okay, let's get started installing Ubuntu. Go ahead and go to the bottom left again, click on the Windows menu, and type in Store. Open up the Microsoft Store. When that window pops up, go ahead and click on the search icon on the top right, and type in Ubuntu. Now, Navy has written the instructions for 18.04, um, but I've also tested it. It works on 20.04, so you can use either. I'm going to click on this one with no number. And then click Install. And you don't have to uh, sign in. Installation is going to take a little bit, and uh, we'll just skip over to the next one. Okay, Ubuntu is installed. We'll click on Launch. It'll open up your console window, and it's going to resume installing. Okay, installation is ready for the next step. Let's uh, set our username. I'll put Soju. Type in your password. Verify your password. Okay, and we're logged in and good to go. Okay, let's start installing Nadybot. Go ahead and open up the instructions. Link to the instructions that Nady has wrote are going to be in the description below. And the plan is, is to copy and paste the instructions one by one going down the list. So, to make this a bit easier, click on the icon on the top left of the Ubuntu window. Go to Properties. And you'll see this down here. Use Control plus Shift plus C slash V as copy paste. Go ahead and make sure that's checkmarked and click OK. And that'll help us copy and paste. So then go ahead and copy this. Control C. Click on the Ubuntu window. Press Control Shift V and that'll paste it. Hit Enter. Put in your password. And then. That's the first command. Okay, the next command, copy and paste. And our next command, copy and paste. Press enter for that one to continue. And our next command, copy and paste. 
and our next command. Copy and paste. Okay, we'll scroll down to where it says, check out the source code. Copy and paste. And the next step. Now this next part, stable or unstable, it ships with the unstable version, but you can change it to stable. Uh, it'll work with the unstable one just fine. But I'm gonna copy and paste anyways. There we go, we'll check out the stable and then we'll pull, copy paste, and we're up to date. Next part, download PHP Composer and Native Boss dependencies. We'll copy and paste this line. And we'll copy and paste the next line. When you copy and paste PHP Composer stable.phar install, it'll give you a bunch of errors. And how you get past that is you need to run this line down here first. So let's copy and paste this line. Put in our password. It's gonna download a whole bunch of uh, packages. Go back and run the PHP Composer Stable for install command one more time. Now it runs successfully. And now Nativebot is installed. All you have to do is run this .wack chatbot.sh command to start it. Okay, let's start the bot. Copy and paste chatbot.sh. And it's going to ask you some information to configure the bot. Press enter. First, type in the account username. Next, type in your password. Next, choose your dimension. I'm going to be on RubyCop 5. Next, enter the character the bot will run as. Mine will be SojuBot. Enter your organization. Enter the administrator. Do you want to set up the database manually? Type in no. Should all modules be enabled? Type in yes. Press enter and let the, bar so let the bot start up. Okay, we're logged in and we're good to go. Once you see this big uh, Nativebot sign 